Hello, Mayor John Tory here. Today, on August 1st, I join black communities and everyone across Canada in commemorating the 186th anniversary of Emancipation Day. Emancipation Day is an important day for Canada's black community, but really for the whole country and for the entire city, every single Canadian and Torontonian. Because on this day, in 1834, slavery was legally abolished in Canada by the Slavery Abolition Act. It's, it's a part of our history. I was a Canadian history student and we didn't talk about this at that time. It wasn't something you studied. And as a result, you come to think sometimes that we didn't have a slavery in Canada, but we did. And this is when it began legally to come to an end. And I want to acknowledge that I understand that the past has created difficulties and challenges for black Torontonians that the rest of us can't imagine. And COVID-19, to bring it to today's time, has highlighted some of the long-standing social and economic barriers that have impeded the success of black Torontonians. But it has also shown us that we still have a lot of work to do, and it's identified what a lot of that work is when it comes to creating a more inclusive city that is equitable and filled with opportunity for everyone without exception. I know that a general sentiment of fatigue and pain and frustration has been and is still being experienced by many black Torontonians. But please know that myself as mayor, the city council I know as a whole, and the entire city of Toronto acknowledge that anti-black racism exists in our city and in our country, and we pledge to break this cycle and do everything we can to address systemic racism in our society. We are working with our Confronting Anti-Black Racism Unit, something a first in North America we established at the City of Toronto, and working with all of the divisions inside the city, including the police service and the police board, to implement new ways to better support Toronto's black residents, to better serve them, the businesses and the community organizations and individual people. You know, a great example of this can be found in an investment the city recently made in Ryerson DMZ's Black Innovation Fellowship to support black-led startups. We're examining every aspect of the status quo, whether it be our own institutions, our processes, or even our own way of, his of recognizing or perhaps not recognizing history. It sparked many discussions, like the one that we are at the city currently having about Dundas Street and other spaces and installations across the city. Emancipation Day is a day to reflect on the strides we have made, but also a time to challenge ourselves to do more to do better and to do right. And the, the three all fit together. I'm also proud to proclaim Emancipation Month in the City of Toronto, and I look forward to engaging with the programming being put on by the city's confronting anti-black racism unit to commemorate the abolition of slavery in Canada. But today, on Emancipation Day and throughout Emancipation Month, I hope that we can all renew our commitment to eradicating anti-black racism within our city while commemorating the many contributions made by black Torontonians in shaping and bettering the city that we love. Thank you.